In traditional conceptions of war, we might think of a war taking place in a well-defined space, the battlefield, and confined to a particular time, uh, to a particular temporality, if you like, to a particular time framework, so that there is a discernible end to a, to a war or a battle. What I'm talking about are instances of practices taking place in all sorts of different locations, um, so that they might involve uh, they might involve open warfare. Let's say the invasion of Iraq would be an example of that, or indeed the conflict in Afghanistan would be an, an instance of a classically defined war, if you like. Um, but you might also have practices that involve incarceration, practices that involve. Uh, for example, what we now have come to refer to as extraordinary rendition. They might involve practices of surveillance that take place across uh, society and also across societies. So all of these elements are constitutive of what I'm calling this matrix of war. It's a complex arena of interactions, often transnationally located so that it's beyond immediate uh, scrutiny, beyond immediate accountability, beyond an immediate sense that allows defining, if you like, uh, the, the agencies involved in, in these practices.